Hello, friends. I open this VR with that greeting in homage to someone whom I deeply respect. Mike Canerod, the content of this VR will be right up your alley. But the question was asked by Chad Yardism. Chad asked a lot of questions, difficult ones most of the time, and this one was most difficult. I thought long and hard about this question. He asks, to whom or what do we place our faith? Or in what or in whom do we have faith? I thought about this for quite some time and um, many of you are aware that I know more about Elvis Presley than I should. Elvis Presley throughout his entire adult life is what I would term as a seeker. He sought answers to many questions such as, why am I here? Is there a God? Is there life after death? What's this all about? What's the secret of happiness? Those kinds of things. One of his friends who happens to be Jewish, George Klein, asked him one day, he knew Elvis was a professing Christian, and he asked Elvis, he said, Elvis, I know you profess Christianity, but the necklaces you wear, one's a crucifix, the other a star of David. Why is that? And Elvis said, GK, I don't want to miss getting into heaven on a technicality. Now, I would like to think that Elvis found some of the answers because of the conviction with which he sings his gospel songs, which are the best songs he ever recorded and what he received Grammy Awards for was his gospel music. You can, you can hear basically his testimony, I guess you would say, in his music, but he was a seeker throughout his life, and I guess we all are, and uh, we all look for the answers, and I believe that for me, I have found them in this book. Within this book, there's a verse that says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I believe every word of the Holy Bible, and I think all the answers are there. I heard a pastor once say that as you share your faith, the first stepping stone is belief in this Bible. And if someone will not believe what is in this book, then you are sunk as far as being able to share what I believe is the truth, which is the gospel. The story of basically God, his creation, our fall. We live in a fallen world, the fall of man and, and the redemption of man through God's son, Jesus Christ. I think all the answers are there, and that's what I put my faith and my hope in. I'll share a little story with you. I have a patient who has cerebral palsy. He's 28 years old. He came to see me for the first time a month ago. And he has been bound to a wheelchair his entire life. He has a, a really neat mechanical wheelchair, a lot like uh, Doc Adfield's that he rolled into my office. <clears throat> has some serious dental problems. He was in pain, lots of, of bad things going on. And I got to talking to him and he said that he hadn't been to a dentist in eight years. And he said he tried to go to a dentist recently and he said his exact words were, he, re he rejected me because I have a gag reflex and he wouldn't work on me. And when he said that, it wasn't an audible voice, but in my mind's auditory senses, 
Doc Hatfield might as well have been sitting there saying these words in my ear because I heard them as plain as anyone would speak them to me. I heard a voice say, tell him about me, I won't reject him. And I learned a long time ago, if you're prompted to say something to someone, if you feel the urge to share your faith or a kind word, give someone a hug, if, if you feel that, don't let that opportunity pass you by. You will regret it. I've regretted some things in my life like that. But when I heard that voice, I knew I was going to share the gospel with this kid. And that's exactly what I did. I asked him first, I asked him, if you died tonight, do you know for sure you'd go to heaven? And he looked away. And when he looked away, I knew that he didn't know for sure. He looked back at me and said, you're trying to scare me. I said, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm trying to help you in every way I can. So I spent some time with him sharing just an abbreviated, just short presentation of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And to make a long story short, my dental assistant was crying and this kid was telling me about all the bad things he had done. He said, I've done some, some really bad things. I said, I have too. But I said, that still didn't stop God from loving us enough to make a way for all the bad things that we've done in our life to be erased and for us to be able to spend eternity in heaven with him. And this young man prayed that day to receive Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior and to basically serve God from that point on instead of serving himself. And I think that's that's basically what my faith, and I don't really hold a, a lot of weight in what type of religion you have. I have friends who are Catholic, Methodist, Baptist, that I don't get nitpicky about that. It all hinges on this book, what it says, and if you believe it. And I think that that is the key to to my faith. Now, I don't feel like I was put on this earth to be anyone's judge, jury, or executioner. I feel like I was put on this earth to love people and to serve and help them. And part of that is I feel like sharing my faith. So, hence this video when Chad asked the question and he said this may be an opportunity. I felt that urge again to take it. So that's what my faith's in. Cheers.